Good morning, everybody. All right, so I have done my morning routine. Um, I've gotten dressed, obviously. Look how cute my earrings are. They're from my sister's earring line called Sona and Co, Sona and Company. And she sells custom clay jewelry pieces. Right now she just does earrings, but homegirl is the bomb, okay? And I am a little biased because she's my blood sister, but we're all the bomb. All three of us are the bomb, period. <laughs> Anyways, um, today is uh, not really a full work day, but I have a few work things to do. Um, let's see, we have to run to Target as well as take Alora to the park after her nap. So I kind of have a lot going on today. And um, before we do anything, I want to show you guys how I make my energy smoothies so that my energy levels stay up throughout the day. And I am so, 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 so excited to talk about this product, y'all, because I have been raving about how amazing CMOS is for I don't know how long, especially on Twitter. You need to be following me on Twitter because I give out a lot of gems on Twitter. And that's kind of where I'm like able to show a lot of my personality. I love Twitter, it's like my favorite app. But anyway. <laughs> Girl, yes, CMOS, Irish CMOS. If you don't know what CMOS is, Google it, but I'm here to tell you the benefits. But before we do that, let me tell you a quick little story because, uh, you know, I feel like it's important to give you a little background information um, and basically let you know why I'm so excited about the CMOS. So, um, when I was pregnant, if you don't know, I had a very rough pregnancy. I was very, very sick, especially in the, the first trimester. I, I, can, I can never pronounce um, that sickness, but basically I had hypermesis something, something. It's called HG, right? It's basically when um, you can't keep anything down. It's hard for you to eat. Um, for me, I couldn't even drink water without being sick. It was really, really bad. So because I couldn't really eat or drink anything, it was really hard for me to take my prenatals, even if my prenatal was a gummy. I had a hard time. Y'all, it was, I hated being pregnant because it was just it was that bad. So because it was hard for me to take my prenatals, one of my best friends and my spiritual mom actually told me about CMOS and at the time I had no idea what CMOS was. Hold on, let me go turn off little baby bum. Oh my God. Okay. So they were telling me about the benefits of CMOS and I was Googling it and I was like, okay, cool. You know, this seems perfect. Um, I can take it as a gel in this gel form or I could swallow a capsule. Um, but again, it was really hard for me to consume anything at the time. So here's the thing though. The first time I tried CMOS, I ordered it off of Amazon and apparently you're not supposed to do that because there are a lot of fake CMOS companies out here and to get all of the benefits of CMOS, you definitely want to go um, through a company who uh, you know, is I guess an authorized CMOS retailer, if you will. Basically, you want 100% raw, wild crafted CMOS. I didn't know that at the time, so I was ordering the CMOS off of Amazon and it seemed to be doing some type of justice. Um, I couldn't really tell exactly how it was benefiting me because again, I was really, really sick. And then also the CMOS that I was taking was not quality at all. So I learned my lesson. You're not supposed to order CMOS off of Amazon, but I did come across this company called Essential CMOS and y'all, y'all, this is literally the best CMOS that I have ever tried in my life. And I'll tell you why. First of all, because it's on my mind and I tweeted about it last night. It takes a million years for my nails to grow out, especially if I'm trying to grow them out to be, you know, healthy. And I just stopped going to the shop to get my nails done because I felt like it wasn't really benefiting me a lot. 
and um, hold on. And also, I just am on this kind of like health kick overall. So I'm trying to get my scalp healthy, trying to get my natural nails healthy. I'm just trying to be healthy overall. So um, that included me, you know, not getting acrylics or dip powder or anything like that anymore. But anyway, my nails have been growing like wild fire. Okay, and they never grow this fast on their own. But the most exciting part about the CMOS for me, if you are a mom or if you have um, a fast paced life, if you work a ton, um, if you just have a lot going on and you wake up early or you know, you're just doing a lot that requires your energy, Specifically for me, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Not only am I a stay-at-home mom to a toddler, but I'm also like a housekeeper. I try to keep my house up, but I also work from home as well. So I have a whole business that I'm running on my own, and then I'm helping my husband run our business together. So I have a lot going on, right? Y'all know I have complained more than once about my energy just not being there and it was always so hard for me to complete any kind of task because I was just unmotivated because my energy levels were so low. It wasn't until I started taking this CMOS and I tweeted this, y'all. You know how if you wake up early, and by early, I mean anytime really before eight o'clock. Once 12, one, two o'clock rolls around, you're like, okay, I am done. I'm tapped out. My energy is gone. I have nothing left to give. I just want to lay on the couch, get in my bed, take a nap, not do anything else for the rest of the day. I don't know about you, but it was definitely always like that for me. Girl, when I started taking this sea moss, I noticed that there was zero dips in my energy. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> which is why I am so passionate about it because it has changed my life. Do y'all know me not getting the quality and the amount of sleep that I deserve and that I need to function like a normal human being? For me to, you know, not feel that dip or not feel any dips in my energy levels until, you know, it's time for me to retire for the day, basically meaning my day is over and it's time for me to get in the bed. It has literally been life-changing all because of this CMOS. And the CMOS is high quality, 100% wild crafted and is from an amazing company called essential cmos so if you don't know all the benefits of cmos google it girl but i'm going to tell you a little bit um you know i'm not really interested in telling anybody else's testimony but i'm gonna tell mine so like i said the energy out of this world and you can actually go to essential cmos's website and look at all of their reviews I'm not the only one. I promise you I'm not the only one. So not only does it increase energy, here's the thing that I love most about the CMOS. It contains 92 out of 102 of all of the essential vitamins and minerals that our bodies need to function properly. That is crazy, y'all. Not a prenatal vitamin or a vitamin I feel like in the world has that many vitamins and minerals that you need. That's a lot. 92 out of 102, the CMOS got it, okay. So I feel like that's why my nails and my hair and my skin, y'all, the skin benefits, let me just tell you. So the company is ran by a really nice couple, Mercy and her husband, and she told me that you can put CMOS on your skin, and girl, ever since she told me that, I've been putting it on my skin. I mean, come on, let's get into it. Please. I mean, I feel like it's a combination of not just the CMOS, but the CMOS and my skincare routine. But girl, the glow. Okay, I got on a little bit of makeup today, but you know, that's neither here nor there. It just has so many wonderful benefits. Actually, all three of us, me, Elliot, and Alora, were sick the other week. And um, Alora loves to drink our energy smoothies as well but we always put the sea moss into our energy smoothies and y'all this stuff shortened our sickness like i'm used to being sick for maybe like a week or two we were only sick for maybe four 
three, four days, this can shorten cold and flu symptoms. So you got your energy, you got your 92 vitamins and minerals out of 102, you got your, uh, your, um, sickness slicer, if you will. <laughs> Not only that, y'all, but it helps with sexual health as well. I mean, this stuff is, it's like, it's magical, y'all. I mean, if you're not taking sea moss, and I feel like that's why everybody is into sea moss these days, and I told you, I've taken quite a lot of sea moss in my days. I mean, I've ordered off of, off of Amazon, I've ordered off of Etsy before, and I personally have not come across um, a high quality sea moss such as this one by Essential Sea Moss. I mean, they're. It just can't be beat. So like I said, it comes in the gel form. I have two jars of um, the gel. Also, they have flavored sea moss gel. Strawberry is my favorite. It is so good. Now, if you don't mind swallowing the plain sea moss gel by itself, then you're really, really gonna love the flavored sea moss gel. I have to put it in my smoothie or like a juice or something. I can't really swallow the plain gel whole, but the flavored gel, it is so good. I can swallow it by itself. So like I said, this one is strawberry, um, but their ingredients for the flavors are of course the 100% wildcrafted sea moss, spring water, strawberry, and they use agave to sweeten their flavored sea mosses. So it comes in the gel form. They also have capsules that you can take. You're still getting all of the benefits that you're getting from the gel. And they also have the whole raw sea moss that you create the gel and the capsules from. So if you're into, you know, creating your own gel or capsules or anything like that, then they also have that option as well. So I'm gonna show y'all how I make my energy smoothie and I'm super excited because y'all, this smoothie is a bomb. Trust me, if you make this smoothie, comment down below and let me know how you like it. <sighs> it is so good, Allure drinks it. She loves these energy smoothies, y'all, and she is the pickiest eater you will ever meet in your life. So if you are interested in Essential Sea Moss, I will have a link for you in the description box. You can use my code LN15 to receive 15% off of your entire order. I mean, who don't like saving coins, girl? And the thing is, this sea moss is a little bit more of a higher cost than your typical sea moss that you'll find at like your local farmer's market or something like that. Because again, it's really, really high quality, y'all you're getting the best of the best here. So let me just go ahead and show y'all how I make my energy smoothies. Okay, y'all. So I have all of my ingredients here. I have my blender. The blender will be linked. I absolutely love my Ninja blender. It has been one of the greatest investments that we have made. All right, so you're gonna wanna use some fruit. This is the fruit that I typically don't reach for, but we're out of the bag that I like to use so um, I'm just gonna use this mixed mango berry blended fruit the reason why I don't really like this one is because I don't like berries in my smoothie because of the grit um, but like I said it's okay I usually get the energy blend fruit it's like mangoes um, actually no it's mandarins grapes apples spinach um, and something else. Sorry, Elliot is on a meeting right now, but it's okay for the time being. I'm just gonna use a little bit of fruit. And the reason why I like to use frozen fruit is because I don't like to put ice in my smoothies because it waters it down. So frozen fruit is basically the same thing as ice. All right, so once I put my frozen fruit, I'm gonna put my powders in. I'm gonna show you the powders that I use. The first one is Moringa powder. If you don't know the benefits of Moringa, you can Google it, but I've been using Moringa ever since college because I used to date a bodybuilder and he was always telling me how essential Moringa powder is. And so, there you go. I'm gonna put one scoop of the Moringa powder in because the serving size is a teaspoon, but again, Elliot and I, both drink the smoothies and a Laura too. And then y'all, this 
is my secret weapon. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably, well, I've talked about my Karoot powder on YouTube before. This stuff, oh my God. We love it so much. I ended up finding the Maca Extreme, which is basically like 10 times more potent than the regular Maca. And I mean, it is potent. As soon as you open it, you just get a whiff. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put one scoop of the maca root powder. Again, the serving size is a teaspoon. And my, I believe I have, I think this is a tablespoon. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then the last powder that we use is my teaming greens. I have talked about these on my channel before, but I love these so much, y'all. I ended up purchasing this jar with my own money because they're that good. And the thing with all of these powders, once you put in your fruit and your juice, um, I'm gonna use two scoops of this, by the way, because a serving size is one scoop. So we're gonna use two. You can't taste any of these powders in the smoothie because of the way that I make them. So after we have all of our powders, I'm gonna use the star of the show, which is my essential sea moss. The strawberry flavor tastes so good. So I'm actually gonna put four scoops of the essential sea moss into the smoothie. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. Uh oh, are you okay? She just fell. Okay, all right, all right. And then for my liquid, I love to use these V8 Energies, specifically the uh, black cherry flavor. I am obsessed with these V8 Energies, y'all. I have been drinking these for I don't know how long, just because they're more healthier than, um, you know, your typical Red Bull or your typical energy, energy drink. All right, I got a fresh pack, so. Open and because again it's both me and Elliot, I'm gonna do two cans of the V8 Energy and then two. Look, Valora's ready, she's ready. All right, and then once we have all of our ingredients, I'm just gonna turn the blender on, hit smoothie. Pour daddy's and I'm gonna pour mommy's. Laura, what are you doing, honey? It's so good, y'all. Mm. It's so refreshing. Do you see my eyes watering? That's how I know if something is refreshing or not, because. My eyes start water. All right, I have to finish cleaning up. Um, one of our really good friends is on her way over and this is our first time. Well, I don't think it's Elliot's first time because it's one of his best friends, but it's my first time meeting her in person. And um, I'm just so excited because we've been friends for, I don't know how long, which is crazy that we haven't seen each other in person yet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna finish touching up in here um, cause Elliot is still on his meeting. I don't know how long his meeting is gonna run for, but yeah, so I'm gonna finish cleaning and then uh, Elliot and I have to shoot during Allura's nap. Luckily the shoot is gonna be in here, like in the kitchen. So we don't have to go out, but yeah. Good job, Laura. She is definitely a Montessori baby. Anytime I start cleaning, she wants to help me clean. No, Laura, we don't get on the table. We clean the table. Are you done? Are you all done? All done. I am on my way to find some lunch right now. I hate trying to figure out 
what to eat. Like it's literally one of my biggest pet peeves having to like Google food near me or uh, healthy lunch ideas. Like I am so over. I probably just need to order another HelloFresh box because they make it really easy for you to just <laughs> choose what to eat because I mean, they just do, that's the point of it. So I'm on my way to Panera right now to see if I can. Oh, last time I had, it was like a barbecue something something. It was really, really good. Um, I just got these glasses, these sunglasses from Amazon. I'm not sure how I like them. I mean, they looked cute on the website, but on me, I think it's a uh, no. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. The air is on. It's kind of hot today. It's only hot right now because the sun has been beaming in the car all day. But it looks like Allura and I are gonna have to change because she has on a long sleeve dress too. And it's gonna get up to, I don't know, 77, I think. It's pretty hot. When I get home, I want to show you guys the products that I used for my face today. I used some new products that I haven't used before and I am in love. Like I have fallen in love. I think Panera is over here. Oh Lord have mercy Jesus. I don't know where I'm going. Hold on y'all. I'm still learning my way around here y'all. <laughs> I've been trying to drive without my GPS, but in reality, I need it still. Um, chips is fine. Yes. I'm gonna have the toasted, the same thing, basically the barbecue chicken, but um, you can leave the cheese and the onions on this one. And then for the soup, I'm gonna have homestyle chicken noodle. Read me the sides again, please. Yeah, we can do bread, chips, or an apple. Bread, chips, or chips is fine. Okay, yes, yeah, do you have anything else for you? Um, I'm trying to see your drinks. I can't see that well. I'm sorry. <laughs> they told me to pull up to the front of the store. Oh, here they are. Hold on just a second. Thank you. All right. All right, Allura is asleep. I had to change because the other dress that I had on was not breastfeeding friendly. <laughs> then the earrings that I had on didn't match this dress. So you know how that goes. I am on my way. To Tarjay. I was gonna wait until Alora got up to um, bring her with me, but it is hot in this car, and I just want to get in and get out anytime I take Alora with me to the store. It's like such a hassle, especially when Elliot is not with me. When he's with me, it's a different story because you know she's able to run around, be free, whatever, whatever, but yeah, girl. All right, so I just made it to Target. I have to take this um, tabletop fire pit. I have to return it because I got the wrong kind. I just wanted like a really cute, small tabletop fire pit to go on top of my table on the balcony but this is the kind that you have to put so the um propane i think that's what it's called the thing it, it like attaches to the table you know how you have those pa those patio tables that have the umbrellas in the center well you're supposed to put the uh the bowl in the center where that umbrella goes and we don't have that kind of table so I have to get a smaller, cheaper one off of Amazon. I found one that I really like on Amazon. So um, I'm just gonna take this one back. 
probably just have them give me a gift card and use the gift card to buy everything that I need to buy in Target. But I want to show you guys a few things that I plan to get because they're like staples. So let's go. So if y'all don't know, Target's lavender oil. I know uh, lavender oil is kind of the same. Not really, but target lavender oil smells so good i think i'm just gonna get the big one because i'm always running out this is for laura's room by the way i always diffuse lavender oil in her room at night and it just helps kind of calm her i don't think i need any more candles right now i think i'm gonna wait but these look really nice and they're only seven ten dollars I'll come back and get some because that's not on my list right now. I like Target's onesies, but they are a bit expensive. You only get two for $17. I think you can get the individual ones at Walmart for way cheaper, maybe like five, six dollars. Um, but the Target ones feel a lot better the fleece ones make her hot which is why i don't really buy those anymore so i don't mind paying a little extra for these and i'm upset because they don't have 15 month onesies i'm gonna have to look on amazon to see if they have 15 months she's only um she's not even 16 months yet she'll be 16 months on the 12th so um but like i said she's too big for the 12 months and the next size up from 12 is 18 so these are going to be a little big on her but the good thing is she'll grow into them so i got her two packs i use the glade plugins everybody keeps telling me that the febreze ones are superior um i don't like buying these though because they go so fast i have to buy these like once a week but there's a new scent and it smells so good so I'm gonna get this one. So I've been using the Aveeno lotion ever since I saw it on the commercial and it is wonderful. Um, I've been wanting to try the Aveeno body wash. So I'm looking for that, but I can't find it. And then I just remembered Olay has this retinol body wash that I keep seeing on the commercials and I wanna try it. But I'm like, should I get the Aveeno? Should I get the OA? Oh, I did get the um, Dove exfoliating body polish because everybody in my mama talks about how fabulous it is. So, <sighs> guess I got an any mini mighty mow it. Okay, I ended up going with the Vino because OA, I noticed, and I didn't even know why well, I didn't think about this, but you can, well, for me, I only use retinol at night, and it even says, nighttime body wash so I guess I'll try that later um I just got the regular Aveeno I think I need a few more things and then I'll be out of here so this is the thing that I came in for is it the mighty pot no it's this one these are so bomb for um you know those really painful zits that you can't really get up, get rid of that easily? Like the hormonal acne. These are it. I used to use the uh, zit sticker ones, but these work just as well. The only thing, these are $13 and there's only six of them in here, but they're worth it, I promise. And every time I come to Target, it never fails. $100 or more. Oh my God. When I tell you I love living in the South because of this spring weather, it's so pretty outside. I mean, it's just perfect. Oh my goodness. I know that a uh, mask jacked my makeup all the way up, but it's okay because where am I going? I don't know. I might not even go to the park later because it is this sun. It's not hot outside, but the sun is making it hot. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready for the summertime. I'm not. I mean, this North Carolina heat is a different kind of heat. I ain't never felt before. 
I remember when Elliot and I were dating and he would fly me here. I just, oh my. The spring weather is gorgeous. Love it. But when it starts getting 80 plus, I'm like, okay. It's time to stay inside with the air on blast because I can't. kind of want to show y'all um, my balcony area. <sighs> I wanted it to be completely done before I showed y'all whatever. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. It is what it is. Um, I just have a few more things to get for like the tabletop. There's not really much else I can do because it is such a small space. Um, you know, I did, I did the best I could uh, for the space that we have. One thing about me, and this is what I said on Instagram, I'm gonna make a space mine, okay? If it's mine, I'm gonna do it up and make it how I want it to be. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like. Elliot was out there last night watching the verses. I was asleep, girl, but you know, I mean, he seemed to have a good old time. <laughs> okay, so I am home. Oh, my hair looks crazy. I'm trying to touch out my makeup so I can um, take a few photos for the gram really quickly, even though I'm not like all the way dressed up. All I'm really doing is taking my beauty sponge and just dabbing. Okay, let me show you guys what products I use today. I have had these two foundations in my collection for quite some time now. Um, and so I just mixed the two. I was really interested in this one. I have heard, I think Lipstick and Curls, Jade Kendall, she talked about how good this was. This is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude foundation and it is surprisingly really, really good. Now the coverage is not there. So I had to spot conceal, of course, and I'm talking low because Alora's taking her nap. But I love how this feels on. I love how natural and radiant it looks. And it says true to skin, natural glow foundation. So again, this is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude foundation. And this is in the shade 13, it says. It's in the shade 13 and it's my perfect shade. So this is a really good foundation. And because I didn't want to wear this one on its own because the color is a little bit off, um, I kind of just took a pump and like dabbed it with the Giorgio Armani, but it's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation plus skincare. And it says improves bare skin in two weeks, water light, medium coverage, mm -hmm. natural radiant finish sorry work email this one like i said is a little too orange and then i have this one but this one is way too light so here they are compared there's the one i have mixed with the Giorgio armani foundation and it's in the shade rich neutral 53 and the one that's a little bit too light is rich warm 52 um I'm gonna have to try this on, the, on its own one day. But those are the foundations that I have on. As far as my lips go, I have these Becca Hydrolite Plumping Lip Balms. And I'm really sad because Becca Cosmetics, if you haven't heard, they're going out of business, which is like, it sucks. I love Becca as a brand. Um, I've been on their PR list for quite some time and so I don't know it's just always like a bummer when a business that you love and you know a company or a brand that you connect with goes out of business because especially because of corona but sucks it just sucks for them but I have on these um, lip balms and I mix the shades swell and tide let me show you guys what they look like they're so pretty I'm actually about to apply a little bit more but this one is swell that's what it looks like and this is tied I just love a good like hint 
of color, you know? And the thing with these, they're just kind of like lip tint. You don't have to wear a liner. You just throw it on and it gives you a little bit of color. Look at that. And there you go. You just blend it in with your fingers. Simple. And then of course, I like to throw a gloss on top. I've really been into these Sephora um, glosses. I think this is their new line. They're glossed lip glosses. These are really, really good. And they're so inexpensive. I think they're like $10 at Sephora. I saw them when I went in a couple months ago. And I've been hooked ever since. Especially these clear ones. They're really good. So that's the lip that I have on. Oh, and then of course, I have on my Wonder 2 foundation on top of my liquid foundations. If you have not seen my last video um, of me raving about this foundation, I will have it linked in the description box. You need to go watch it because this foundation is the truth. If you guys have ordered it and tried it already after watching my video sorry <laughs> let me know in the comments how much you either love or dislike this foundation it's really good ain't it i told y'all okay y'all so here is our balcony and the gorgeous view i am so obsessed with this view i don't think elliot likes it as much as i do i like it at night i mean how could you just not I mean, I like it. I just like it at night. When we get to cut these lights on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have a little. I had time last night, bro. Dang. <laughs> I had a lot of eyes and brothers, and I be out here lit. <laughs> I bet. I saw you dancing. Oh, yeah. I had my alcohol. It was just a fun time. By myself. I love it. <laughs> Nobody. I went back inside to finish it off because it got cold. Had me a nice little. It got cold? It got cold. Oh. Alright y'all, so I will have everything linked of course in the description box, but we got this sectional from, well I bought it from Amazon, Elliot ain't have nothing to do with it of course, he has absolutely nothing to do with any of the of the decor, why are you looking like that, cause you know I'm telling the truth. I authorize the purchases. Okay, well I mean, he ain't have nothing to do with picking it out. I wanted a sectional because... I wanted to lay my, just, you know, just I lay. No, that's not the only reason. <laughs> I mean, we on the third floor. We got a private view. So y'all And I'm married. Wanna, yeah, y'all figure it out. Like I said, I wanted a tabletop fire pit to go on this little table. And I know it's a small space. I already hear the comments now. Why y'all got a sectional on that itty bitty balcony? because i wanted one that's why so yeah we got the sectional from amazon the table came with it and i absolutely love it love 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 it and of course i had to stick this little plant on top again i'm gonna get a little tabletop fire pit for like s'mores and you know the ambiance or whatever and then i have these little um what do you call them it's some kind of string lights um i got them from target they're really really inexpensive i think i paid maybe like six or seven dollars for the whole thing at night i'm telling y'all it is such a vibe and then i just stuck some lanterns in the corner i'm gonna get one more tall lantern to lantern to put behind this trio kind of you know set it off or whatever and then the plant I got from Michaels and it keeps falling so I have to keep fixing it but yeah that's this balcony area and it is such a vibe especially at night I mean it just looks so good and the sectional is really comfortable I don't know why Elliot is I don't know why you have your feet on the table and there's a whole ottoman I think it's because I don't, I don't necessarily, one, I don't want this print in my face. Oh. That's why. And two, I just haven't got adjusted to the section again because 
We have to figure out how to um, get the cushions to, yeah, to stay because they're a little out of place. It wasn't that expensive. I think I paid three fifty. How much did we pay for this? Three thirty something, three fifty, and it's not bad. I mean, it's really good quality outdoor mm -hmm. furniture. So, yeah, that's the balcony area and i love it again i still have a lot to do i think i'm gonna get some some more string lights to put up top somehow y'all know how then people be uh having string lights up top i don't know how they do that but i'm gonna figure it out because again the vibes <laughs> okay y'all i think that wraps up this vlog um, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, I have one more thing to tell you guys before you close out. I applied to be a part of the 2021 Sephora squad. I applied in, what was it, 2019? Was I with you when I applied? Were we married? Oh, so I applied before and I wasn't going to apply again because I didn't get chosen the first time I applied. But, I mean... You can't have what you don't ask for, and that's Bible. So I say, you know what? Uh, Elliot encouraged me. My manager encouraged me. So I was like, eh, what the heck? So um, if you don't mind, a part of the application is the testimonials that are sent in from your community of followers or like your social media family, what I call y'all. Now, the amount of testimonials that I get does not determine whether or not I'm going to be a part of the Sephora squad, but the testimonials do help. So far, I think I have over 100 testimonials. I think the last time I checked was, it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I was at like 97, so I'm sure that I have well over 100 now so um i'm asking my youtube family if you guys don't mind if i have ever like inspired you or you know influenced you in some kind of way basically um i'm asking you guys to tell sephora why you think that i should be a part of the sephora squad 2021 um so like in regards to hair makeup uh my influence all of that jazz um it'll be very very appreciated i always appreciate when you guys support me in more than just watching my videos so yeah i will have the link in the description box and i'll probably remind you guys again sometime soon on my communities tab and of course on instagram i think you can only like you only have until april Oh my gosh, is it April 6th? Or April 7th? I think it's April 6th. Oh my gosh. Yeah, as soon as you see this, just click the link in my description box. It'll take you straight to, um, it'll take you straight to the testimonial part of the application. And then you can also share your testimonial to your Instagram stories if you want to do that. I mean, it's always super helpful. And again, I really, really appreciate y'all. Um, even for just watching my videos and supporting me that way. So, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I get chosen. If not, it's okay. I mean, that's what happens, you know. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, all of the links will be in the description box. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Yeah.